Hello, my name's Christopher Haynes, and this is my, uh, my first trip out to Rwanda, my first trip with Cricket Without Boundaries, and so far it's been uh, an eye-opener, which is a bit of a cliche, but it has been. There's been so much, so much stuff in short, such a short period of time. This is day five. We came back about 20 minutes ago from our second session of the day at, um, at, at, quite, a nice, at quite a nice private school. Uh, in the morning, contrasted entirely by having 400 kids turn up that we didn't expect. So all of these experiences have been completely outside of anything I would do on a day-to-day -day basis. So they've all been very useful to me in terms of expanding my horizons and, and, and looking at, uh, at there are things that are, that are possible to do that, that don't just involve sitting behind a desk and, and pushing a lot of paper, which I have been known to do. So um, the whole thing's been very good. Uh, from the beginning, we've, we've jumped straight in at the deep end, taking kids on our own off to do a lot of coaching. Uh, ending up having to try and control 30, 40, 50, 60 kids, um, half of whom can't speak the language. We've had great help from the local coaches actually, met some really, really good people, some really inspirational people as well. We went on to the, the Rwanda's Orphans Project just for, a, just for a flying visit, met some great kids there. Met a, met a guy called Alex who's a social worker for 95 orphans in the Rwandan Orphan Project and I can only imagine how difficult his job is. and, and how, how tired we all feel after five days must be nothing in comparison to the amount of effort he's put in for, for years at that place. Um, luckily, we're going back to that. We're going to have a big proper tour, have a big full session with those kids. So I'm, I'm really looking forward to that. We've already met some really great kids there, so it'll be good to go back and see them. Um, impressions of Rwanda, again, it's, it's an incredible place. T cleanest city I've seen, you know, definitely in Africa and a lot cleaner than London. And... Um, the weather's been incredible. Every day, my, my, my iPhone's told me it's going to have a thunderstorm. Every day it's been 30 degrees, baking heat, um, suntan lotion on two or three times a day, make sure we, uh, we don't die out there drinking litres and litres of water. Uh, I think all of the kids think we're mad for standing around in the sun for two hours in the middle of the day. But once they get started playing, you know, their enthusiasm keeps us going. And the team help each other out. They'll take over for a little while, run off and get some water. So it's a great place, great kids, great team that we've come out with. And, you know, all in all, it's only day five. I've got nine more days. And, and if, it, if it continues anything like this, then it's going to be, these are going to be some, some great day, great, great two weeks of my life. And, and again, I started with a cliche, I'll end with a life changing experience. And I would highly recommend that people could do this. And, you know, there's always options to, to work around uh, getting off work. It's only for two weeks. Most people can get leave for that. So I will definitely say that it's a, a great thing to do. It's something I would thoroughly recommend. Thanks.